Hi, welcome to automation testing dot in. In this video, we are going to discuss about Selenium web driver locators. Selenium web driver locators will discuss about the different kinds of locators which are available in the Selenium web driver. The basic use of locator is to identify the element on the web page uniquely. Means the basic motto of uh, using a locator is to identify an element on the web page uniquely to interact with that. All the elements which are there on the web page are called web elements in Selenium web driver. Means you have a web page, you will find so many uh, things on the web page. Means you might have uh, text boxes, you might have drop downs, buttons, links, images, web table, so many uh, elements. Means all the elements uh, called as web elements in the Selenium web driver. You have to remember this point like all the elements which are which you see on a web page is called web elements. And the basic mode of using a locator is to identify an element on the web page uh, to interact with that. Okay. And below are the web driver supported locators. Means we have so many uh, locators to identify an element on the web page. Means we have eight kind of locators. Okay. You see that we have ID, class name, tag name, uh, name, link text partial link text, CSS selector and XPath means we have eight kind of locators to identify an element on the web page means you have a web page and you have a text box you have a text box and you have a button and you have some image how you identify this element means you, you have written a Selenium web driver code to enter something in this, to enter something in this, to click on this button. How Selenium will come to know that I have to enter something in this text box only? Something in the this text box only. Uh, how it come to know that I have to click on this button only? So you have to tell WebDriver that you identify this element using any one of these locators. Then WebDriver will come to know that okay by using this this is the idea of this text box so i have to enter something in this text box this is the locator of this button so i have to click on this button this way selenium will come to know that how to interact with the web element okay we'll discuss all these things in detail id this is the most efficient and preferred way to locate an element this is one of the attributes the tags which are used to develop the application. The concept of putting ID to an element is to identify the element uniquely. But developers may put or may not put the IDs to the tags. If we use IDs to locate the elements, then the identifying the elements is accurate and fast. Okay, ID, as we discussed, this is input is a tag to create or to render to display something on the web page that is text box. Okay, if you use input tag in the HTML, then it will display or it will show a text box on the web page. And it has some properties. One is called ID and one is called class. Means if you have IDs and the names of IDs are unique, means if you have ID as an attribute, definitely it will have a unique name to that. Means the basic mode of putting ID is to giving some unique name. If you have IDs, it is very easy to identify an element why? because it is uh, pretty straightforward and you have a unique name. And the syntax of Selenium will be you have driver dot find element by dot. Sorry, this is ID. One second. So we have ID. <coughs> the ID is date picker two. So by using date picker 2 you can identify an element very easily that is unique to that text box and in the web driver the syntax will be driver dot find element by dot id see this is one of the locator and we will discuss all these things driver why, what is driver what is find element in the coming videos uh, as of now we'll see only this id by dot id and you give the name of that id value of that id uh, by using id date picker 2 you'll identify the element on the web page if you go to uh, if you want to see the example on the web page go to demo.automationtesting.in uh, this is a demo site to practice basic 
uh, web driver you can see all the elements on the web page you see text boxes drop downs uh, read a button check boxes image you see web table you have alerts windows frames you have accordion auto complete date picker slider all the kind of elements i have placed in this to practice you know basic uh, selenium how to interact okay if i go to uh, demo dot automation testing dot in you can see one of the text boxes called you see email id for sign up if you inspect that if you see the uh, html of that you see that this is the input tag as we discussed input means text box it has some properties called id equal to email placeholder something ng model something type something means we have a different kind of attributes to this text box now our motto is to use id id equal to email if you use this email selenium will identify this text box by using this id okay this way you will identify the locator on the web page using ids now one more is class name okay this is also one of the attributes of the tags which are used to develop the application but the basic mode of using a class is to apply some style to the element there is a chance of using the same class name to the different type of elements to apply the same style to the elements so this attribute is not unique to identify the elements but combination of classes can be used to identify the elements means class name is also one of the attributes to the elements so why you use classes to the elements means if you want to apply some style you have a uh, so suppose a label that label should be like blue color bold and this much font and this way you have so many i i have id i have class name i have tag name for each and every element i want to apply the same kind of style means same the uh, that blue color same font style same color so how you achieve that one so in the uh, where html they will write some classes to apply the style then if you use the same class name for this a uh, label wherever you find if you apply the class name is called something that name then automatically these three styles what do you say uh, color font and bold all these things will be applied to that element using this class name so if you have same kind of labels on the web page then all the things uh, will have the same class name to get the same style so if you use that class name it may not identify the element uniquely uh, it identifies uh, all the labels on the web page so uh, uh, if you use class name then it might not you uh, know uh, identify the element uniquely but sometimes to apply different kind of styles to the same uh, single element you will apply multiple classes okay then using multiple classes combination there is a chance of identify an element uniquely but whatever it may be you have a class name is date pick by that class name you identify uh, you use this one to identify the element there is a chance of there is a scenario you might use class name means class name might be useful so you can use this class name also to identify the element tag name by using tag name also we can identify the elements in selenium web driver but there is a chance of having more elements with the same tag name so it is very difficult to identify a single element using tag name means you have a registration form otherwise you take simple uh, very generic form that uh, what you say login page if you use login page not definitely but most of the times 99% of uh, chance of having the two text boxes means one is for uh mail id one is for means one is for username one is for password so if you use tag input it identifies two elements okay so uh, if you use tag name it is not a best practice to identify the single element but if you want to identify how many input boxes are there otherwise how many uh, 
uh, how to uh, you have, you want to count uh, text boxes on the web page so you can go for input uh, tag that it identify multiple elements like if i have not find elements instead of find element you can say find elements by that tag name input means it identify all the input tags on the web page okay uh, if you have a single element having the only uh, single tag then you can go with uh, go with it uh, but most of the times it is not a best practice but sometime worst scenarios are there you have to have to identify an element using tag name okay uh, these are all you know like uh, uh, when there is a difficulty or wherein there is a chance of using all those things it is not mandatory to use all this whether you have a provision to use all these things uh, and it depends on the web page how they designed uh, the scenario uh, what is the how you face on the web page okay but we have to know that how many uh, locators are in there in the web page and how we can use all those things now name this is also one of the attributes sometimes they'll give the name to the uh, tag to give some extra information means uh, what kind of you know uh, information uh, uh, information it will render on the web page as well display on the web page kind of information so by using this name also you see that driver dot find element by that name the name you give if this name is unique you can identify the uh, element if more multiple elements having the same name it is also very difficult to identify the element uniquely okay this is also one of the attribute and you can identify that this is uh, what do you say sample html and this way sample code for selenium web driver how you identify the element by that name you give that name you go to link text this is not an attribute to the web uh, any element but by using this locator we can locate or we cannot locate okay we cannot locate all the elements but we can locate uh, uh, links on the web page okay link means an anchor tag how you get an, a, a link on the web page you have to use an anchor tag uh, here we need to use all the link text to identify the element means i'll say uh, i i'll not give even i have a href and i have a register i means i have a web page there i have a link called register how you will identify an element uh, that element means if that is a link anchor tag you have one provider that link text by that link text and give that entire text means that link uh, links entire text then you can identify that element okay partial link text it is similar to the link text but i don't want to give entire register okay i want to give only partial of that then you can say this is an extension to the previous one if you are not sure of the entire link text or want to use only part of the link text you can use this locating mechanism to identify the link element if more than an element containing the part of the text equal then you can identify more elements using this locator like tag name okay uh, something like that uh, a b c d 1 2 3 a b c d 4 5 6 a b c d uh, 10 11 12 something like that a b c d is common for link so if you want to identify uh, the elements which is having a b c link then you can using by that partial link text if you give a b c it identify all the links having that a b c text okay this way you can identify partial link text here i don't want to use entire register i want to use only regi okay if i use regi also it will identify if regi is having uh, many links on the web page so it identifies all the elements okay now x path okay <coughs> this is different from uh, the things which we discussed in the previous uh, ppt um, you know ppts uh, xpath is a query language for selecting nodes from an xml document the xpath language is based on tree representation of the xml document and provides the ability to navigate around the tree selecting nodes by variety of criteria xml contain one or more elements 
our tags are nodes an element may contain or contain data or may contain other elements as tail nodes each element should have starting tag and ending tag the element content will reside between these tags apart from the content each tag may have attributes these attributes will give extra information about the element we can locate any kind of element using xpath means if you go here if you see this information sorry this information what you are seeing okay if you go to the page source see the information what you are seeing is content of xml kind of content this is head tag this is html tag it contain meta link means you have different kind of tags and uh, a tag uh, containing child con uh, child tags and a tag containing uh, what you say uh, attributes you have different kind of information by using this hierarchy by using this you know, different permutation and combination you can use to identify the element using xpath i am not going to dis uh, discuss xpath in detail in this why because i have a separate video for this uh, it is a huge topic uh, we have a separate uh, video for this then you can watch that video to get the element on the uh, idea on the xpath okay but uh, but the briefly is you you can use this xpath uh, using different kind of uh, uh, using attributes using child elements using grand child elements and uh, this way you can identify the element and one more is css selector this is also similar to the xpath means here also it will uses the hierarchy of the uh, tags and uh, attributes of the tags but the difference between these two is uh, what you say uh, this is bit uh, fast to identify the element compared to the xpath this is bit fast okay and we will discuss what exactly the difference between css selector all these things in the sub we have a separate video for css selector also we will discuss all those things but the basic mode of uh, this thing is how many ways you can identify the element on the web page okay uh, means we have different kind of uh, locators to identify the element on the web page these can these many okay uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like us at our facebook page